Ever had those times when it seems nothing goes right? It gets frustrating, doesn't it? Let's talk about it. You know, a while back, I was, I was having a tough time. Things were going wrong. And it wasn't anything major, but it was enough to, to really irk me and get me really frustrated. And I, that, that night, I was having a hard time the next morning. I was still feeling frustrated when I went to work. And so I, I sat down at my desk and just looked around and said, God, I'm frustrated and I don't like it. I don't want to be this way. I don't want to feel this way because I'm afraid that I'm going to dwell on it. I'm going to focus on it and it's going to dominate my day. It's going to make it hard to deal with others. I'm going to take things out on others. I might be short with people. I don't want to do that, God. I need to deal with this frustration, but God, I don't know how. Because I am just that frustrated. I'm just that upset. I'm that irked. I can't do it, God. So I opened up my... Uh, my, my phone and went to look at what the daily Bible reading was for the day. And it was in Romans. Romans chapter 8, I believe. Yeah, Romans chapter 8, verses 37 to 39. So we're going to go ahead and look at that. Let's see. Go into my phone here to you version to read to Romans chapter... <coughs> pardon me. Romans chapter 8. Okay, Romans uh, 7, 8... Verse 37, last three verses. So let's go ahead and look at these verses that God showed me that morning. And then I want to tell you what he told me, and hopefully it will help you too. So I'll put the words on the screen for you now. No, in all things, I'm sorry, no, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death nor life nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. That's a powerful passage to me. And God used this passage to remind me of something that I needed to be reminded of. I was emotionally you know, on edge, and I knew my temperament would be affected, my relationships could be affected, and I needed to deal with the frustration, but I didn't know how. And then God said, let me remind you of something. Yes, you're going through a tough time right now. No, you don't have all the answers. And no, I haven't given you all the answers, and I probably won't but I am in charge. But I need to remind you of something, John. I love you. You matter to me. You matter to me. That meant something. That was important to me. I needed to hear some encouragement. Yeah, I wanted answers, but I needed encouragement more. I needed to see beyond the situation I was in. And God reminded me in this that I'm His. But before I move on with that, let me explain to you why I say I'm His. And how you can be His too if you're not already. I'm His not because of my own goodness. I am not good. No one is good. Not because of anything I've done. I haven't done anything that's even remotely close to earning God's love. Not because I've garnered enough you know, goodness to merit reward. I, I, I can be the most perfect person in the world, but even one failure, one bad thought contaminates it and makes me unworthy. No. I'm his, and you can be his, because of a thing called grace. Grace. Now, what is grace? Very simply, grace is undeserved favor. 
undeserved favor. It's that which we get from God that we do not deserve, can never ever deserve. By God's grace, He said, I forgive you of your sins. Now, how can He forgive me of my sins? Well, have I sinned? Yes, I've sinned. I have bad thoughts. I've, I've said bad things, done bad things. We all have done things wrong. Whether they're small or big, we've all done things wrong. And sin is sin. And God says, I can forgive you. Why? Because my son, Jesus Christ, paid the price for sin. He died on a cross for sin. To pay the penalty of sin. He did that. All you need to do is put your faith in Him. Put your faith in Jesus. I put my faith in Jesus as a child. Now, I've had my ups and downs, up and down. We all do. Uh, we, we live on a roller coaster. And moments where we're really up high, and then moments that we really just fall. But through the, all that, I still believe in Jesus. And I put my hope in Him for my salvation. And God said, whoever does that is saved. Whoever puts their faith in Christ alone is saved. And if we're saved, we're His. So I can say that I'm His because I know I'm saved. And if you put your faith in Jesus Christ, you are saved too. And you're His too. And if you haven't done that yet, I encourage you, please do that. Put your faith in Jesus today. Trust in Him. He's not going to give you all the answers. Life's not going to become a grand paradise no, he's going to give hope and encouragement and optimism and a future, an eternal future in his glory. The alternative is an eternal future in his judgment in hell. And it's God's desire that none go there, although we all are on our way there apart from Jesus. And whoever puts their faith in Jesus gets off that highway to hell is climbing that stairway to heaven. Yeah, I know it's silly cliches for songs, but the point is the same. You want to get to God, you want to be His, it's through Jesus Christ. And God told me in Romans chapter 8 that day, yes, John, you're frustrated. Yes, John, you're struggling. But I'm here to tell you, John, I still love you. And you want to know what can take you, take you away from me? You want to know what can separate you from my love? Well, let's see. It sure is not death. Death. Death can't separate me from God's love. Nor life. So there's two extremes. Nor angels. Spiritual beings. They can't do it. Nor rulers. It doesn't matter who's in power, who's in authority. I don't care what government is doing. I don't care what authoritative, uh, you know, Overlord is there. I don't care what, what parents may say. No man in authority, no woman in authority, no person in authority can separate us from the love of God. Nor things present. Doesn't matter what your situation is. Didn't matter what my situation was. That's not going to separate me from the love of God. Nor things to come. I don't know what's coming down the pike. Do you? I have no idea. It may be harder, it may be easier, but whatever it is, God says, I still love you. Nor height, nor depth, you can climb the highest mountain, go into the deepest valley, doesn't matter, you're not going to get away from God's love. Nor anything else in all creation. That kind of covers the bases. Nothing else will be able to separate us from the love of God not just the love of God, but the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. You want to have that kind of love. You want to experience that kind of a love. Not a love that says you'll never be frustrated. Doesn't promise that. There's no guarantees in that. This verse doesn't say you'll be trouble-free. It says you'll be loved. And if we're loved... That means God's taking care of things. We may not see how, may not see when, may not understand it, but we can know that He loves us. And God told me that morning, John, 
yeah, life is hard right now. Yeah, you're emotionally uh, distraught right now. But I just want you to know, even now, despite how you feel, I need to tell you, I love you. Put your faith in Jesus today and know that kind of love. God bless you. If you liked this video and found it helpful, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button and then head on over to my Patreon page where with your help, I can be able to make more videos for you, make higher quality videos for you, and together we can go on this journey of life.